Hi, my name is Mary Greenwell and I'm here to do a video on this beautiful Vanya. And the look we're going to do today is Sophie Loren. She's so of the moment and she's so adored and loved by everyone. And it's a look that we all want to emulate so much. So here we are and we're going to do it. Okay, next I'm going to use the Hydra Beauty Gel Serum, which is divine. I'm going to put this around the eyes. Okay, um, working around the eyes, always circling in. Right, so that's that done. So next I'm going to find out the shape of Vanya's brows. I'm just going to brush them through with the brow brush. I'm just going to check the shape of her brow. This will help me understand the shape of her face and where I want to work. I'm going to go directly onto foundation. I'm not going to put any whitener underneath because I want the, the, this to be a real Mediterranean look. So I'm going to go straight into the foundation using Vitalumere Aqua. Just go directly to the skin and then do the other side. Right. And then I'm going to start to blend that in. Okay. Now I'm moving on to the concealer, which is my favourite concealer, which is the Correcting Concealer by Chanel. It's number 10. I'm just brushing it underneath. Brush it underneath, there you go. And then just pat it in. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. First of all, I'm going to take this palette Tisse Smoky, number 246. It has a silver, which is deeply, deeply 60s, this kind of silver. It has a white, and it has a, has a gorgeous, deep, deep um, charcoal, and then a black. Okay, so this is a perfect palette. This brush, my favorite brush of all, it's called the Concealer Brush by Chanel, but I use it for eyeshadow. Taking this, I'm now gonna go into, first of all, the silver, all right? I'm going to put this all over the lid. Um, there are four colours in this palette, as you can see. I'm going to use four colours, maybe, but I'm certainly going to use these three. I might not, for this look, need to use the silver, the white silver, because it might be one colour too many, because I think in the Sophie Lorraine period of makeup, there was quite a monotone look, so it wasn't like you were building the colours as much as you would nowadays. Okay, black liner. It's called Equiture by Chanel. Look down towards me, my darling. Don't close, just stay looking down. I'm going to get this right at the roots of lashes. So now, there's, there's the liner done, okay? I'm going to pick up a stylo pen in black. Now this is just going to be a much softer line underneath, a little bit more smudgy. And I'm going to blend this line with a Q-tip. Now I'm going to be really brave. Because I've done the bottom now, I can now balance with more liner on the top. So I'm going to go back and do a sharper line on top. Look at those eyes, they're amazing! I'm now going to put on mascara, which will give that even more that in accentuate the line of the eye. This is Chanel and this is the volumizing mascara. You 
see where we're at with the brows. I'm also, because I've been using my thumb so much to get the line of the liner, I've actually removed half the makeup on the lid. So what I'm going to do now is go back with the same palette, this palette here, and I'm going to use the eyeshadow, my favorite eyeshadow brush, just to put more silver back onto the lid. You can see now how well it's working with the liner. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to try something. I'm going to use the white silver, the white, the real white shimmer color under the brow. Why not, huh? Yeah, it's great. Look. I'm going to take the dark black, okay? The, the darkest one, which is a really good charcoal black. I'm going to make a little point here. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to make a little point here to bring this down and make it more interesting. So with a bit more concealer under here. Taking the brow brush, I'm now going to concentrate on the brows, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to literally stroke the colour through the brow. So that's that. Now what I do want to do is I want to warm Vanya's skin up quite a lot because it is a Mediterranean look. It's definitely that wonderful Italian vibe that I want to go for. Okay, so for, so for those I'm going to be using quite a lot of bronzer and therefore it's not, it's not certainly not contour but it's sculpting and giving her the warmth that she needs. So I'm taking in Le Beige, the Le Beige family which is heaven. It's number four, okay? So using the foundation powder brush. Hold this, darling. I'm just going to take it through here and just bring it down and just really, really warm up the skin through here. Or matching with her shoulders, do you see? Now, one tone darker, I'm going to go for five. And for this, I'm going to use it as a sculpting powder just down the side of the, of the cheeks here, like a sculpting powder, just there. See? I'm going to see if we just add this really beautiful colour, and it's number 89. It's almost like I want to touch her nose with it. I want to be. I want to be really nice and high, so it's all, look, do you see how that's given the warmth, do you see? And take it warm, like almost to her nose, so it's like nice, warm, right up on her cheekbone. I want her lips to be really pale, a la that sort of period of the 60s period, but also, you know, pale lips are, very, lips are very, very modern and divine, so I'm just going to now do that for you. Um, lip liner is, it's called Beige Satin. It's a sort of lovely, very pale, almost like a frosty pink. So now we have two lipsticks here. I think I'm going to go with a deader, paler one, although this one is pretty gorgeous too. Da, da, din, din, din. I think I'm going to go with the deader one. Yes, that would be great. And do you see what I mean by, by dead, guys? Do you see that this is more kind of neutral? This is more pink. So this is number 40, called 400, and it's called Louise in the Rouge Coco range, and it's absolutely fabulous. Now I'm going to just get rid of the T-Zone Shine. Translucent one by Chanel. It's a fantastic powder. It's absolutely colorless. It's amazing and works for all skin tones. Just through here. 
just incy wincy bit on the forehead. And I think that's done. So there you have the beautiful modern Sophie Loren. You know, she is there as a reference, and this is the end result on this amazing face.